Alexandra Daddario leaned into edgy glam as she arrived at the second annual Academy Museum Gala in Los Angeles on Saturday night. The White Lotus star, 36, let her ample cleavage shine in a plunging white gown with a striking fishnet top adorned with small pearls. It flowed over the entire chest, as well as down the back of the dress. Her sleek brunette hair was swept up in a stylish top knot and her blue eyes were amped up with bold black eyeliner. Alexandra's pale complexion had a soft baby pink flush and her lips were painted a flattering nude pink shade. To show off her gown's flowing skirt, the true detective star twirled for shutterbugs during her show-stopping red carpet stint. She paraded around in a pair of silver sandals. Julia Roberts is slated to receive the first-ever Icon Award at the Academy Museum Gala, which is being held this year for only the second time. When it was held for the first time last September, the star-studded event managed to rake in a whopping $11 million for the new museum, per The Hollywood Reporter. Other honorees this year include Dr. Strange star Tilda Swinton, who is being presented with the Visionary Award, which honors an artist or scholar whose extensive oeuvre has advanced the art of cinema. The Vantage Award celebrating an artist or scholar who has helped to contextualize and challenge dominant narratives around cinema is going to Steve McQueen, the director of 12 Years a Slave and Shame. Parasite producer Mickey Lee, who also happens to be the vice chair of the Academy Museum Board, will receive the Pillar Award in honor of her exemplary leadership and support for the Academy Museum. Oscar-winning actresses Lupita Nyong'o and Halle Berry are chairing the gala with TV impresario Ryan Murphy and successful horror producer Jason Bloom. Former TCM host Jacqueline Stewart, who was named head of the Academy Museum in July, showered praise on Julia earlier this year when it was announced she would be presented with the Icon Award. Over the course of her expansive and renowned career, Julia has embodied iconic characters and memorable roles. We are thrilled to be honoring her continued excellence in the industry and contribution to the arts, she gushed. We are deeply grateful to Julia, Mickey, Steve, and Tilda, to Rolex, and to our co-chairs and host committee for making our second annual gala an evening to remember. The Academy Museum opened last year just four days after the first gala, igniting a storm of controversy over its political slant. Critics slammed the museum for emphasizing the contributions of various minorities to the American film industry while all but ignoring the white Jewish immigrants from Central and Eastern Europe who played a major role in creating Hollywood. The museum responded to the blowback by announcing this March that they will be adding a permanent exhibition highlighting the Jewish history of the movie business.